你就是那个有名的博士基辛格。I was unable to meet you during my first two trips. I'm so happy I've had a chance to meet with you now. <laughs> 来，坐吧。哎，哎，前一阵子害了一场病，我说话不太利索。You have a lot of poem books here. I read some of your articles and poems. I like them very much. Your work has moved China and changed the world. No change in the world. 只是改变了北京附近的几个地方。Mr. Chairman, I guess the meeting we have today will definitely make someone unhappy. 你是说台湾的蒋委员长吗？我们与他做朋友的时间要比你们长得多呀，啊，很长一段时间，他一直。称我们是共匪。啊 ，He calls you a commie. I wonder how you call him. 想知道主席叫他什么？一般来说，我们叫他蒋帮。有时候在报纸上叫他匪，他也称我们匪。总之啊，我们互相对骂。哎。你跑中国跑出名了，头一次公告发表，全世界都震动了，啊。It was for this reason that President Nixon rewarded me with a vacation. 他不像个特务。While he's unable to move freely, he has been 12 times in Paris and two times in Beijing, twice without being known. Except for a couple of pretty girls, of course. I just used them as cover. They had no idea. Ha 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 ha. This way, you also often use your girls as a cover. His girls, not mine. If I use girls as a cover, I would be in big trouble. Especially when I'm in the middle of the campaign. 上次选举的时候，我投了你一票，你知道不知道啊 ？Out of two evils, you choose the lesser one. 是在两害中取其轻。不，我早就说过，如果民主党人获胜，中国人也会同他们打交道。啊 ，Mr. Chairman, great change. Has taken place in the recent political world situation. I would really like to discuss with you the U.S.-China relations and issues concerning the Soviet Union, Taiwan, North Korea, Vietnam, and Japan. Ah, those issues, I don't care about. You should talk to Chairman Zhou. That's his business. 我现在想跟你讨论哲学问题。Philosophical issues， 哎，是哲学问题吗？其实，来自美国方面的侵略，或者是来自中国方面的侵略，这个问题比较小，因为我们现在两个国家不存在打仗的问题。你们想撤一部分兵回国，我们的兵也不出国，所以我们两家怪得很呢、啊。过去二十二年总是谈不拢，现在从打乒乓球起还不到十个月嘛。如果从你们在华沙提出建议算起，两年多啊。
都快一个小时了，都还没有谈完的意思。说好了只谈十五分钟的，再这么下去，主席的身体受得了吗？是啊，我也着急。我喜欢右派。哎，人家说你们共和党是右派。说西斯手下也是右派。So is the General De Gaulle。戴高乐另当别论。呃，人家还说，西德的基督教民主党也是右派。这些右派当权，我比较喜欢，是巴基斯坦前总统把你们介绍给我们的。当时我们驻巴基斯坦的大使不同意我们与你们接触。嗯，他说，尼克松总统跟约翰逊总统是一样的外，可是叶海亚汉总统说，这两个人不能同日而语，一个像强盗，那是指约翰逊。呃，我不知道他怎么会有这个印象。不过，我们不大喜欢从杜鲁门到约翰逊这四个前任总统。这中间啊，有八年是共和党人做总统。啊，不过在那段时间，你们恐怕也没有把问题想通吧 ，Mr. Chairman。I know that our attitude towards the People's Republic of China over the past years has been unacceptable for you and Premier Zhou. Anyway, we came here today because we realize the global new situation. Moreover, we recognize that what matters is not the political philosophy within a country but its policy towards the rest of the world and toward us. Uh. Hey, do you know where the president is? I have no idea. And Kissinger, where is he? I'm in the dark. They must have gone to meet with Mao behind my back. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, thank you very much for inviting me in China. I know you take a huge risk doing that. For me, I also take this very difficult decision, but I'm a man of my word. You will find it out later. I never make promises I cannot fulfill. Uh, Thank <laughs> Mr. Chairman, we can change the world together. Ah, 没想到的是，最后换来的竟是这样。尼克松上台的时候，我们一直在支持他，可说我们的善良，换来的却是他的背叛。你们看看，你们看看，尼克松在毛泽东面前成什么样子了
卑躬屈膝的样子啊，哪像一个大国的总统啊？是的，特别是尼克松在公开场合为周恩来脱大衣的照片。这在香港的大公报上都登了。那么，美国的报刊是如何评价的呢？美国舆论正面评价很多，特别是尼克松为周恩来脱大衣的照片，很多大报都刊登在头版。军哥，无论他尼克松怎么献殷勤，怎么和毛泽东、周恩来他们沆瀣一气，但是台湾这个雷区，他们是绕不过去的。志诺。总统先生，尼克松夫人，女士们、先生们、同志们、朋友们，首先，我高兴地代表毛泽东主席和中国政府，向尼克松总统和夫人，以及其他的美国客人，表示欢迎。同时，我也想利用这个机会，代表中国人民，向远在大洋彼岸的美国人民致以亲切的问候。美国人民是伟大的人民，中国人民是伟大的人民，我们两国人民一向是友好的。由于大家知道的原因，两国人民之间的来往中断了二十多年。现在，经过中美双方的共同努力，友好往来的大门终于打开了。期盼通过双方的坦率和意见交流，更清楚了解我们之间的差异，努力找到共同的基础，必将为我们两国的关系开创新的起点，为中美友谊干杯！Minister and all distinguished guests this evening, on behalf of all American guests, I wish to thank you for your incomparable hospitality, for which the Chinese people are justly famous throughout the world. I particularly would want to pay a tribute, not only to those who prepared this magnificent dinner, but also to those who play this splendid music. Never have I heard American music played better in a foreign land. <laughs> Mr. Prime Minister, I wish to thank you for your very gracious and eloquent remarks. At this very moment, through the wonder of telecommunications, more people are seeing and hearing what we say than on any other such occasion in the whole history of the world. Yet, what we say here will not be long remembered, but what we do here can change the world. As you said in your toast, the Chinese people are great people. The American people are great people. 
If our two peoples are enemies, the future of this world we share together is dark indeed. But if we can find common grounds to work together, the chance for the world peace is immeasurably increased. Ties between our two countries has been cut off for over 20 years. Despite great differences, we can still try to build a peaceful world. And so let us, in the next five years, start a long march together, not in lock step, but on different roads leading to the same goal. The goal of building a world structure of peace and justice in which all may stand together with equal dignity and in which each nation, large or small, have the right to determine its own form of government free of outside interference or domination. The world watches, the world listens, the world waits to see what we will do. What is the world? In a personal sense, I think of my eldest daughter, whose birthday is today. And as I think of her, I think of all the children in the world. What legacy shall we leave to our children? Are they destined to die for the hatred which has plagued the whole world? Or are they destined to live because we had vision to build a new world? There is no reason for us to be enemies. Neither of us seeks the territory of the other. Neither of us seeks domination over the other. Neither of us seeks to straight out our hands and rule the world. Chairman Mao has written, so many deeds cry out to be done, and always urgently. The world rolls on, time passes, ten thousands of years are too long. Seize the day, seize the hour. This is the hour. This is the day for our two people to rise the heights of greatness, which can build a new and a better world. And in that spirit, I ask all of you present to join me in raising your glasses to Chairman Mao, to Prime Minister Zhou, and to the friendship of the Chinese and American people, which can lead to the friendship and peace for all people in the world. <laughs> Cheers, Gambe. America the Beautiful, this is the song I picked up during my inauguration in 1969. If I'm not wrong, this is a thoughtful arrangement by you. Yes, Premier Cho particularly introduced the band to play the song. We need a next this is Mo Tai, the, the one that a reporter called uh, White Lightning. Since Wayne was the first in 1950, I know, I know, I heard about this. And I read snow books and he said that the Red Army, when they've been to Mountain Town, they drank up all the liquor. Well, let's drink a cup of this wonderful liquor. Ah, it's so wonderful. <laughs> Please. We intend to be produced a pack of cigarettes. No, 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 no,
，你表达中国人民和美国人民的友好。Oh, how wonderful! Richard, did you hear that Premier Joe said that he was going to give us two giant pandas? Sorry for keeping you waiting so long. We are five minutes late. We are five minutes late. I saw in the morning news that the President was arrested at our military training camp just recently. A bill was passed by the U.S. government to arrest him. This news excited the United States. The great bill has been signed with this pen. And I would like to give it to you, Mr. Prime Minister, as a gift. This is a pen of historic value. No, 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 no. I can't accept this gift. Because I accept it, I feel like we have entered the inner chamber of China. Ah, thank you. This is the same place where I met with Premier Jones the last time I was here. Thank you. Yes, this is the last time I was here. Yes, this is the last time I was here. Yes, this is the last time I was here. Yes, this is the last time I was here. Yes, this is the last time I was here. Yes, this is the last time I was here. I have heard that. Another Chinese saying that the guest should suit the convenience of the host. <laughs> so, it should be better if Mr. Prime Minister spoke first. the <laughs> 对毛主席非常的信任，是毛主席请您来到了北京。Chairman Mao is very far-sighted. I totally agree with him. 我深表同感。我们今天主要是谈谈我们中美之间最大的障碍——台湾问题。这也是此次总统阁下访华是否成功的关键。我和基辛格博士为此从严重的分歧谈到现在。Well, now I can state five principles about the Taiwan question. 我现在可以表明我在台湾问题上的五项原则。So first, there is only one China. Taiwan is a part of China. 第一点，中国只有一个，台湾是中国的一部分。In the future, it will no longer be said. That Taiwan's position is undetermined. 今后不再说台湾问题未定。Second, we do not support any independent movement in Taiwan. 第二点，不支持任何台湾独立运动。Third, Japan will be discreet from entering to Taiwan as much as possible. 第三点，将在力所能及的范围内劝阻日本进入台湾。And Japan will not. Encouraged the Taiwan independence movement. The fourth, we support any peaceful solution to the Taiwan question. And don't support any attempt from the Taiwan authorities to return to the mainland by any military means. And five, we pursue the normalization of U.S.-China relations and withdraw all U.S. forces from Taiwan within four years. 第五点，寻求中美关系正常化，决定四年内逐步从台湾撤出军事人员和设施。你的这几点承诺比以前的进步多了。But politically. I still have some difficulties at the moment. America cannot recognize the People's Republic of China as the sole legal 
authorities in China. The United States has not confirmed that the Chinese Communist Party is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. The United States is the only legal entity in China. 我们只能说争取和平解放。为什么说只能争取呢？因为这是两方面的事。我们希望和平解放，可蒋介石不干怎么办？我坦率地说，历史留给蒋介石的时间已经不多了。Well. I plan to proceed to the normalization of U.S.-China relations and withdraw all U.S. forces out of Taiwan in my next term. However, I cannot state that explicitly in the joint communique because it will help my opponent to find a reason to attack me during the next election. So, when I go back to Washington, I must declare that I haven't reached any secret agreement with you over the Taiwan question. And once I win the re-election, I will fulfill our goal. Mr. President, we have been waiting for 20 years. I can honestly say that we have enough courage. We are not shy. Waiting Tomorrow, 谁也不能保证。好了，这事儿你不用管了，我来解决。Today, I climbed up the Great Wall of China, one of the seven wonders of the world, looking at the winding and overlapping battlements and walls. I was overwhelmed by such grandeur. The people who could build a wall like this several thousand years ago must be great and extraordinary people. Being a landmark on the other, the Great Wall should also serve as a landmark for peace for all mankind. What's more amazing is that heavy snow covered all the roads in Beijing last night. But today, we saw no ice or snow on the tens of miles of road we traveled. How could the Chinese do that without snow polos? It is just unbelievable. These small incidents show the integrity, discipline, devotion and huge potential of the Chinese people, which can never be underestimated. In the coming decades, we shall work to build good relations with China. Otherwise, we will one day face the most horrible and strongest enemy in the world. You're going to go to Nikosong to go to Nikosong? Yes, I'm 
，他们的兴致都很高，特别是尼克松，玩得很尽兴。他说，要全世界人民共同铸造人类和平友谊的长城。在历任的美国总统当中啊，尼克松获得了一个第一。嗯，他是第一个登上中国长城的美国总统。不仅安排他们爬长城，还让他们游故宫、看芭蕾、欣赏体操表演和乒乓球比赛。我是想通过方方面面，让这些美国人尽可能的了解我们中国。说话讲，百闻不如一见嘛。嗯嗯，重要的还是中美联合公报。尼克松从大洋彼岸大老远的来一趟，如果不发表一个联合公报，那他怎么交代、啊？联合公报一直在抓紧做。嗯，一些分歧比较大的条款和措辞呢？主要是挂华同志和基辛格在谈。嗯，公报完成以后，我要看一看。放心吧，主席。乔老爷。哎呦，总理啊，还在辛苦啊！啊，不是辛苦啊，是干苦。这点子老油不说啊，嗯，这脑细胞整整死了一个军团呢。脑细胞没有白死吧？公报有进展。最大的突破点，就是在对台湾问题的表述。嗯，我们坚持。承认台湾是中国的一部分，台湾是中国的内政问题。双方在取得共识上没有问题，嗯，但是他们不想用文字明确表述。最后，还是采纳了基辛格的提法，嗯，双方认识到，海峡两岸所有的中国人，都主张全世界只有一个中国，而且台湾是中国的一部分。这些话虽然有些弯弯绕，但还算恰当。啊，总理，嗯，您坐。嗯，这公报上的每一句话，嗯，都是讨价还价换来的。嗯，比如美国在台湾的撤军问题，基辛格一定要坚持协商，以台湾海峡的紧张局势的缓和为前提。我则坚持，要写明撤军的期限。最终，双方都有所让步。光华，你和基辛格这几个夜熬得值得。尼克松可是个了不起的政治家，敢于大破坚定到中国来访问，是冒了很大的风险呐、啊。现在他的访问行程已经过半了，不发表一个联合公报。怎么能算是一个成功的访问呢？对，鉴于目前美国国内的政治困难，还要从大处着眼，求同存异，有些问题可以做适当的让步。国华，我明天要陪尼克松总统去杭州访问，这份。公报草案的初稿，我再仔细的看一下，然后向毛主席汇报。好。What response do you expect from the release of this communique? Well, Taiwan will naturally be hit the hardest. I had thought of that, but we have to make corresponding sacrifices to a larger plan of normalizing. A relation with the People's Republic of China. There are other obstacles that you need to consider, which may cause us trouble. What are you referring to? Secretary of State Rogers. Rogers. 
how Rogers can cause trouble to us. Rogers was not present when we had our meeting with Chairman Mao. He was quite disgruntled. I don't think you've noticed these past eight days how sullen he's been. The Secretary of State, he's naturally in charge of foreign affairs. To not show him this communique, that would, that would be inappropriate. But once we do show it to him, well, um, It's already the fourth day of our visit. Tomorrow we will fly to Hanzhou, where we will sign the communique together with Zhou Hanlai. I recall that when I saw the draft communique to Rogers when we arrived in Hanzhou, he would consider the overall situation without raising objections. I've never seen cops as big as this. I've never seen cops as big as this. Today, I'm going to take the most powerful man to the most powerful man. This dish has been a long time. It's been a long time. Look! Those two beautiful birds. They have two beautiful birds. What is the name of them? What is the name of them? They're red-billed lilies. They truly are lovebirds. Yes. Oh, the the West Lake. It looks exactly like a postcard. Xihu made it just like a postcard. Xihu, already has a history of more than two thousand years. The lake has a history of more than two thousand years. 尽管战乱的影响，可是历朝历代呢都在不断的修缮它。尤其是我国两位著名的诗人白居易和苏东坡，他们呢曾经在这西湖当过地方官。白堤和苏堤呀，就是根据他们两人的名字命名的。I've heard that Chairman Mao and you both. 
love Hangzhou. Is that true? You and Mao Chunxi both like Hangzhou, right? Yes. Please have a seat. Thank you. 心不走过，连环的风云里，你越发巍峨。唯有那么一天，环球同此两人，云水间相彻我。